Hey, this is Sonia from my happy space. Welcome back at my channel. I'm going to continue in my junk journal memory book I made for my 50th birthday. Um, it is my sister and I myself are twins. So I've decided to make a junk journal to put our photos of our birthday in and all the memories of that evening and that day we had. So I've got two videos already. One, how I made this cover. And then the next one is how I put the junk journal sickness together and how I bind it. And I've done also one photo, sort of introduction photo. So now today, as you can see, I've got lots of pretty little lace and things and buttons. I'll show you in a minute what I'm going to use. So I want to go through the junk journal and just jazz it up a little bit and maybe add one or two photos with it. I'll see how long the video is. But I just want to add interesting little things and I might actually paint this white. I don't know if I'm very happy with the brown. I'll see how that works. I've got cute little things. Um, obviously beautiful ribbon and lace and things like that. The materials. So I'll show you what I have. And then we can jazz this little junk journal a little bit up. Okay, the first thing I have, I've got beautiful lace. I think I've shown it in previous videos already. But if you haven't seen it, love this lace. It goes beautiful with the color scheme of this junk journal. I bought all my papers from Amity Bloom and it's called the Sister Journal. And that is what actually sparked my idea of making a journal for our 50th birthday for my sister and myself. So it's beautiful color scheme. I'll show you now now the inserts a little bit. But as I said, if you want to check out the videos with some more details, it will be linked up here and down below. So this one is this beautiful orangey pink, salmon pink. Um, that's also, I can use that. And then I've got loads of these cute little flowers and different colors, white, pink, this beautiful teal color, this maroon color, and also this salmon pink color, which I absolutely love. I was so happy when I saw that. So let me separate that. And then I've got a, then I've got a bigger version also of these flowers. And they are so beautiful to put down with a little button or something like that on it and to decorate your page and then i've got the rick rack beautiful what do you call that um yeah it's not it's a teal no this is not teal it is more um aqua aqua blue i think it's aqua blue so that and then i've got some of the same colors just like this and these small little blue ones so i think i've got enough lace then I've got lots of little ephemera pieces. So as I said, I've got some of these. I will definitely color one, paint it or do a different color and see how that works. I've got some left if it doesn't work. And then the same with this measuring tape. That's the word. But it's almost like a button because it's holes in there. So I can do work that on. And then I've got this cute sewing machine. Because this whole theme of this junk journal is all material. Um, embroidering things like that then I've got the scissors and this is a cute little thing you can put a photo in there or a sentiment or what or flower so that's cute it's one of this again and then I've got some of these small little things that says made with love so I thought that would be cute because I'm making this with love um, and then I've got these vintage buttons, which I've picked, picked up recently. This is also one of the silver things with a little sewing machine and scissors. So all these vintage buttons I can use. This is not vintage, but I thought it will work well with the color scheme. This is maybe too tropical, so I don't think I'll use this. Love this one. And love this is my favorite one. Okay, so I've got that. Then I've got this. I don't know what you call it. It's almost this white. It can break easily. Um, so I've got a sewing machine and needle, but I thought that would also look very nicely. So I've got these, all these ephemera pieces, which I can sprinkle deep over the the thing. And then I've got some materials, which I thought would look well. This I think will work well with this journal. Um, inside and then I've got some napkins got a little bit of stains on it this is not antique ones I think I bought it at a very 
dollar store type of shop in South Africa, but it is, has the effect of being vintage. This is, I love this material also. Thought maybe this could work, although I, I'm, I like the chicken, but I don't think the chicken will work for you. So maybe I'll put this also aside. And another of these little handkerchiefs, which is not vintage. I've got beautiful vintage handkerchiefs, which I inherited from an auntie from, of myself. I put it in a frame many years ago. I actually don't know where the frame is. It's probably somewhere in my home, but I will never use that because that is real, real antique. Love this material also. I think that will work also well in it. This one is a... I, I bought a second-hand um, book. And it was inside there. I did wash it, but it is stained. But I like the fact that it is real old. So it's real antique old material, this. And then I've got this material, which I've shown you in my previous video, which is actually like almost back with stickiness, almost like a washi type type of thing. So I've got that. And then I've got this piece, a rose that I cut out from material. So I thought that would be a nice accent point. And then I've got all these pom-poms and things like that. So I'll see if I'm using any of this. So I think I've got quite a lot to go ahead. So basically, I'm just going to keep everything close by. So I can see them. I have my scissors. Oh, yarn. Yeah, before I forget, I have my papers, which I've just printed some new ones also out. I actually got the stencil of stitching. Yet again, I think I've been putting my fixing my sewing machine off for such a long time. It would have been perfect to use it this, but I think I'm going to use hand stitching at one point. But otherwise, I can use this. I don't know if you can see it. Stitching, um, I can use it as effects also. So I must remember I've got that. And this is actually a piece which ribbon was around, but I thought that would also be a very nice ephemera piece I can use. And then I've got all the little cute envelopes and things like that. Pocket envelopes, which is all part of the Amity Bloom sister journal. So I've got that all cut out here. So I can use that. I think I've got some doilies also in between here. But yeah, I've got lots. So we can start looking for a place where we can use some ephemera. So see, that was last week's page I did this is just the introduction page so yeah I think as I said I still think what I'm going to do here so basically I just want to spread I think what I want to do is I would definitely want to cover this up I like this I think I'm going to cut this out I can later use these pages as a jumping up point to put photos and things down what I can do is I'm going to make it a pocket because I want lots of places where I can actually um, put some photos in because I don't like always the photos to be exposed because I think they get damaged a half. So let me see. I think it's slightly too big. I don't really want to cut it off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go this side and I'm going to follow the lines. I'd almost have a... Maybe then I don't actually need maybe the the round little punch to indicate that there is a pocket there. Having it like this would be, I'll just put there in the middle, there where these two comes together. I think that's maybe a perfect place to put a. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it on as a pocket on all the sides here. And then it covers that up. I wonder if I shouldn't just first put some washi tape over there. I think maybe I'll just put some glue on there too. Okay, now I can put this down here. Okay. So let's see if we can find something we can decorate this here. I think something like this will look very nice. Maybe put that in the middle because that's almost the same color in this. Let's just try one so far. I've got 
got this little button card. I think it looks cute. And then what we can do is I can sew a button on, maybe on this. Maybe something like that. No, I don't really like that. I think the buttons need to be sewn. And maybe this little card. No, it's too big. Maybe this little thing. Maybe I should make a little cluster here. That's maybe a better idea. With one of these sentiments. Keeping my memories within this journal. I like that one. So something like this. And maybe something like that underneath. But first of all, I want to see if I can put a button. I think I like the pink button. Okay, I've got this embroidery thread. What I'm going to do is, as I said, I'm going to form this little cluster now here. First of all, I'm going to glue the rose or little material on there with some fabric glue. The nice thing about having sort of a collection of papers to make a journal is you don't have to think too much. You can, I'm, if you just limit yourself to more or less using the material, the papers in the journal i think that makes it the easiest i've got a few magazine cuttings also which i was which i put in here obviously which i have in this box so i can use that also but i think i didn't want it to go through all my stuff and see what is the best because i think that will just drive me nuts so maybe we can put something here also i think that is cute okay so just need to wait till that is a little bit dry so i'm going to get a clamp there's already one thing done i think this i'll leave as it is maybe we can do something here too why don't we get one of these papers this and we make a sort of a pocket there or top spot the idea is as i said to create loads of pockets and points of interest to put some photos and things in so yeah i think that might be a bit overkill so let's try that somewhere else let's maybe use some of this material First of all, I'm going to just glue it on. Why don't I use some of this material and just... Maybe not 100% here, just here at the bottom. Maybe I'll cut it a little bit. One thing I'd love to invest in is a scissors, material scissors with a zigzag. So I can make little pat patterns. That would be lovely. Okay, let's see how that's going to look if I color it in. I've got this pink. It's a pigment ink. So it will, it won't, it will last. I think I must actually do something like this. Spray some water. Maybe just don't know if that will work. Not really. Let's stick to the dryness. Ah, that's better. I press it in then it works I don't think that looks nice there but now I've got it and I have colored it in maybe I should 
Yes, that just looks the best. And I think that looks beautiful. Let's glue it on. Okay, so I think that looks cute. And now, let's see if we can do anything here. I just want to see if this is dry already. I wonder if we soon put that. I think that would be nice. But I think I'm going to find something else to put underneath there too. Look at these small little hard doilies. So maybe that will look nice underneath here. I think so. I don't know if maybe I should just do it without this. I think I'm going to actually just do it without this. I like it just like that. Okay, I like that. I wonder if this little pocket envelope that comes with it, if that would not look nice here. Let me think. almost feel like I need something there. Maybe another heart doily. Obviously no, because this is going to be my journal for my 50th. This is going to be um, pink. It just cannot be something else. So I'm going to close this pocket. And obviously now I can put some photos in there too. Maybe I'll make it also just a pocket. So I can put some things underneath. So it's a double pocket. Okay, that looks nice. I think this I'm going to keep the same at here. I might do something else also. Maybe this is the place for this little buttons. Maybe what I'll do is I might cut some of these. Maybe this is a good place to use. Oh, I've done it already there. Place to use my um, stencil with the faux stitching. So maybe I'll use some of that. I'm going to use this stormy sky blue. And I'm just going to put it there and go around it. Obviously, the real deal would have been better. <laughs> real stitching. Okay. Maybe we can put two of these little flowers on there. I like the buttons, but they are a bit small. Let's see if we can sew them on. So I think that looks very cute. Let's just glue that on. Yet again, I think I'm going to make it a pocket. Whenever I can make something a pocket, I'm going to do it. This I'm going to keep keep um, empty. So I can, if I can put some photos of things there. But what I will do is I will maybe put uh, that over there. Okay, here is a nice big page we can do something with. This pocket. But let's see. We need to fold it like this. This is, as I said, all from Amity Bloom. It will probably be better if I use my, scorings, my scoring board. But I'm just going to see if I can do it without it. So, or I can do it like this. So I think.
think maybe it might be idea because it doesn't matter where I'm going to put it. I The page is never going to be, unless I do it like this. That might be idea. So I'm just going to glue this on. So this is also another place to put the photos in. Maybe to see if we can try find a different page. Maybe deeper into that. Hmm, that's quite nice. Maybe this. Mm, no. Let me see. It's quite nice. I don't know if I look like it next to the year. You can always cover that up. It's not the end of the world. That looks quite nice. But this is sturdy now. I think I'm going to do it here. And when I take this off, it will be much lighter. So yet again, I'm going to actually just glue it as a tuck spot. So I can put something here at the top. But I might use a paper clip also. Maybe that will be a good idea to put one of these little dangly bits on it. Maybe this one made of love. I think I probably need some thread. I think I'm going to just use... There you go. I think that looks so cute. Let me show you closer. Looks very cute. And I can put something here. I wonder if we shouldn't make a little cluster also there. Something with these. I think so. Love that. Um, maybe something. Okay, so that's how that looks. Love that. Okay, so we've found a little place for that. Let's see what else we can do. Let's work on this page. Maybe this is a good place to put pocket here, but then I must back it on cardstock. So I'm just going to cut it a bit shorter. And obviously, much shorter also like that. And then I'm just going to basically back it on here. It's a bit skew, but I think when you put it in here, you probably won't see it. So, oh, I, I, yeah, I think I'm going to put it up there. But I think maybe oh, I don't like this yellow. It doesn't really go with my color scheme. Maybe I'll put this here at the top. So I'll stick that here at the top. Okay, I like this here. So let's, it breaks it up a little bit. Um, maybe I should put that also on here. Looks cute. Let's pretend that's also wrapped around there. And what else? That looks very cute. I think I'm just going to glue that on. Okay, so that base is also done. Okay, i just gone a little bit ahead, not too much. I think I'll call it a day for 
today what I've done is I've added the side pocket and I've put a little flower there with one of these white um, thread bobbins then I made a pocket I put this ribbon on top of paper I put made a pocket there and then I've made another side pocket with one of these white um, I still don't know what you call it um, yeah white things let's call it ephemera pieces um, a needle working machine so what I want to do now is I want to find something to put in here so I've got some birthday cards this is a birthday card for my little niece this is very cute she made it for me and my oh it's actually my nephew he made it for me so i can maybe put that in there let's see i want to find somebody which was also one of my family members ah oh, this one is from my sister and i think it looks beautiful together so i'm gonna pop i might pop later some more in there it's just I've got these two cards in there. I'm going to find some small cards to go in here. It's also a birthday card from a friend. This one is beautiful. I love that. Also, I'm going to put, pop that in there. And that in there. So, I've got three birthday cards in there. I want to put a photo in there. I want to put these two photos in here. This is my daughter, myself, on my 50th birthday. And this is my sister and I went for breakfast on my birthday. So I want to pop that in there. Actually, I need to cut this out. I didn't realize that. Hmm, that's going to be difficult now. Okay, I managed to cut that out. So I'm going to pop that in there. As I said, I might put later some more photos in there. Okay, I might do something different there. Here's a tuck spot. So maybe let's find a birthday card. Nice. This birthday card is quite nice. Might be too big. It's also quite a nice one. I'll just see, maybe I'll find a different one. I actually like this one. It's... So let's put that in there. Yeah, can I don't think no, this card I'll have to put somewhere else in. Might put this one in here. Not a very big fan of the glitter, so I'll just leave it like that. And yeah, maybe this one, maybe this one. That looks nice and I need to find a smaller card here yeah. maybe this I like the two that red sort of goes with this and then let's put a card in here it's a bit too big I might have to put that over there this one maybe I can put that here There you go and i think this one what i will do is i will just glue that one on here so i think that is probably all i'm going to do today i've got this also to fill up but i will do that later so let's see how bulky this is already oh my goodness oh i have to be very careful how much things i put in here but th I think this is more or less the cards I got. Um, so now it will just be photos. I might actually redistribute some of the cards in the back also. Because this is going to be coming ridiculous. I think it's going to be like this. Anyway, I should have followed Louise Hansel's. We said if you make a junk journal, 
when, when it's finished, this must be like, so it can become, so it might be a triangle. And mine was definitely not. I should have made a much thicker one. But maybe I'll make another one. You never know. But as I said, most of my cards is now done. Now I just need to put some photos in here of the evening. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed what you see. And I hope you're excited for me to work further in this. Um, yeah, I really love it. I love all the material and all the pretty things. I love the theme of this um, junk journal. It's lovely. So you must have a fantastic day. God willing, I'll speak to you on Friday. And if you like this video, please give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I'd love to have you as part of this family. Bye-bye.